Welcome to Champion Minded, the podcast for those who aim for excellence, not only in the sports arena, but in life. My name is Alistair McCaw, author, speaker, mindset and performance coach, and my goal is to help you unleash your unlimited potential and provide you with the tools to achieve greatness. Are you ready to become Champion Minded? Then let's do this. Welcome to or welcome back to the Champion Minded Podcast. My name is Alistair McCaw, your host, and uh, as always, good to have you along. This week, I'm going to be talking about morning routines, and uh, it's something that I've uh, studied over the last, I'd say, 10 to 15 years in looking at high performers, successful people uh, in different industries, be it in sports, be it in business, entertainment, whatever it may be, but um, it's always something that's intrigued me is how... Uh, successful people uh, start their day, what the secrets are to them getting a great start and, and uh, why they have a game plan to, the day, to their day. And that's, uh, that's what we're going to be looking at today. So hopefully this can help you uh, get off to a better start and, and get more productivity, get more results, uh, get more energy into your day. Um, you know, if we look at successful people such as uh, Elaine DeGeneres, uh, President Obama, Tony Robbins, Oprah, Warren Buffett, uh, LeBron James, they all have morning routines. Uh, they get up in the morning and they have this structure to their day already before their day starts. They understand that a morning routine gives them a head start on their competitors. It gives them the edge. Um, and, uh, and in today's show, I'm actually going to share with you my morning routine and, uh, and just how much uh, it's given me, how much energy it's given me. I live a lifestyle where I travel a lot. Um, I have to have a, a great energy, I'm motivating people all the time, so I have to be at the top of my game and that's why I've found morning routines so, so important for me. So uh, in today's podcast, I'm going to share with you uh, my eight steps uh, to my morning and uh, you know, one thing I want to get out there before I get into it is uh, you don't have to have the same routine as me. You know, it's, it's discovering what routine works for you. Uh, be it getting up uh, slightly earlier, having an hour routine or a half an hour routine, or uh, you might have a family with kids where you need to, to get up early and get the kids ready for school. But, um, you know, it's something that, that I want to share with you that gets you into the right frame of mind. It primes the body. It primes the mind. So here we go. Uh, the first thing I do in the morning is I, I get out of bed and I make my bed. I start my day with discipline. And, uh, you know, if you want to uh, incorporate discipline in your life, I've always believed that making your bed is where it starts because, you know, it's something that you might, might not feel like doing, but when you do it, you've already accomplished your first thing of the day. So first of all, I make my bed. Second of all, I practice gratitude. I start my day in gratitude, being thankful and, and blessed for what I have. You know, I, I journal, so I'll write down two things that I'm grateful for. And it can be anything. It can be the sunshine shining through the window. It can be uh, waking up healthy. It can be um, the family, the friends, uh, the support I have around me. It can be the car I have to drive to work. It can be um, the fact that I'm able to get out of bed in the morning and, and go to gym. Whatever it may be, I am grateful. That's how I start start my morning. That's my second thing. My third thing in my early morning routine is I get my coffee. Yes. Uh, so important. I'm, I'm, I'm a big coffee guy. I need my coffee in the morning. It's, it's, uh, it's just part of my routine. And uh, when I have my coffee, I'll, I'll usually check my Twitter, check my Twitter feed. I enjoy uh, uh, seeing what's going on while I've been sleeping and learn some new things. And I follow some interesting people. And, uh, and I also read. I, I read in the morning. I try to get at least 20 minutes of reading. It can be anything in, 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 uh, in, in a spiritual side. It can be a motivational side. It can be just something maybe uh, linked to my career. But I read in the morning. The fourth thing I do is I have thoughtfulness. I have time for thoughtfulness. I uh, consciously and, and mindfully think about people that might be uh, needing a message that day, be it a birthday, be it somebody writing an exam or playing a, a match or running a race or whatever it may be, I will send them a message of good luck or to tell them that I'm thinking of them. And, you know, that's, that's mindfulness, uh, which I practice in the morning. The fifth thing is I exercise. I like to get my, my body going. I like to get the blood flowing. 
Um, I like to feel energized. So I'll uh, either work out at home or if I'm staying in a hotel, the hotel gym or my local gym if I'm staying at home and I'll have my, my set routine. And, uh, you know, one of the things I do while I exercise is I listen to podcasts and uh, I educate myself or enlighten myself or motivate myself by, by listening to, to podcasts while I'm working out. The sixth thing is energy, my breakfast. Yes, I put aside time for my breakfast. And uh, I, I make sure I have a good breakfast. In the morning, I'll do uh, scrambled eggs with, with uh, some vegetables, uh, mushrooms, peppers, etc. And I'll do some oatmeal with, with berries and fruits, uh, you know, just to, to get energy into my body. So often, uh, we're all, in, you know, in a rush in the morning and rushing out of the house and grabbing something or sometimes uh, getting something on the way to work or on the way to practice. Well, you know, that is not a champion minded approach because you're going to you're going to make bad decisions. You're going to uh, buy things or or, or um, eat on impulse. So, you know, put aside time in the morning for a good breakfast. And I usually put aside 20 minutes. The seventh thing is I look at my day. I look at my planner for the day. I see what my priorities are. Um, I also look at my vision and my goals. I look at them every single morning just to remind myself, to keep myself in the frame of mind and to uh, inspire myself. And, you know, on that subject, what I do the night before is I will sit down and journal uh, what the priorities are for the day, uh, what my goals are, uh, my appointments. Um, I'll check through that, but I'll also check it again in the morning before I leave the house. And the eighth thing is while I'm driving to work, I'm listening to a podcast. I'm not listening to a crazy radio station and listening to uh, phone taps and uh, all these things I have on the radio. I know it's fun and it's good to listen to music sometime, which I sometimes do. But um, again, I educate, I inspire, I motivate myself by listening to to a podcast in the car. So those are the eight steps I have in the morning. Um, I get up at 5 a.m., and I start at work at 8 a.m. So for me, I call it the three for me, the three hours for me. And again, like I said at the big beginning of the episode, uh, not everybody has three hours. I understand that. But even if you uh, were to set a half an hour routine, uh, let's say it was 10 minutes reading, uh, 10 minutes stretching, and 10 minutes breakfast, you're at least putting yourself in a routine and a structure. You're having a game plan for the day. You're having a foundation for for the day. And I can promise you it sets you up for success because as I said at the beginning of the show, the most successful people have routines. And especially if you're in college or you're in school and you're waking up at the last moment and you're rushing around the house looking for your shoes, looking for the car keys, looking for whatever it may be, it doesn't put you in the right frame of mind. It doesn't put you in that champion minded mindset. So why is a morning routine important to me? Well, I've, I've got seven points here I'm going to share with you. Number one, it primes my mind and body. And uh, in those eight steps, we had uh, things with regards energy, my exercise, uh, getting a good breakfast. Um, I do some reading. I, I practice gratitude. And that is your mind and body. I prime my mind and body. Number two, I take care of number one. And that is me. It is not selfish taking care of, your, of yourself first because you cannot lead others if you can't lead yourself effectively. And it starts with you. Uh, we're all leaders, be you uh, in a family or in a company, in a business, whatever it might be, you have to lead yourself first before you can lead others. Um, it's pretty much uh, what my good friend Magnus uh, Norman says, who's a, a fantastic tennis coach. He used to work with Stan Wawrinka. Magnus used to say, it's like being in an airplane. And, and in an emergency, you have to put on your mask first before you can help others. And I think that's such a great analogy. Number three, I feel good about myself, what I've accomplished already. Already before eight o'clock in the morning, I've accomplished eight things that are putting me in the right frame of mind. People say to me a lot, how do you have so much energy with all your traveling and, and time hour changes and whatever it may be? It's because of my morning routine. I get off to a great start. I have a foundation. Number four, I get to do my best thinking before the rest of the world has opened their eyes and switched on their phones. Um, you know, between the hours, especially of five and seven, it's still quiet. It's quiet on the roads. It's quiet in the house. The, the gym is not too busy either. So I get to do my best thinking. Number five, I feel prepared, organized, 
ready and energized. And that is so important for me before I step out the door. Um, I, with a great attitude, uh, despite what's maybe going on, or I've had some disagreements, or some things at work aren't going to plan, well, I make sure I leave the house with a great attitude. I get to choose that. Number six, I feel I have a head start. I feel I have a head start on my competitors. I feel I'm better prepared. I feel confident. Preparation is confidence. So I feel I've already accomplished so much before um, eight o'clock in the morning. And number seven, I start my working day running, literally, uh, energized, um, coming in there uh, in a good mood, uh, being energized, uh, saying hello to everybody, good morning to people, and you know it just puts me in the right frame of mind, and I know they appreciate that. I know those people I work with and uh, surround myself with appreciate that energy. So I believe. Uh, greatness happens before eight o'clock. Um, you know, an important thing is is to get a morning routine. If you're going to get up early, you have to get to bed early. Um, you know, if you're getting into bed late at 11, 12 and trying to get up at five, well, that's not going to be sustainable. That's going to uh, that's going to burn you out eventually. You have to make decisions as into what time you're you're going to go to bed, what time you're going to get up. Like I said, not everyone needs a three-hour routine like I have, even if it starts with an hour. Even if you start by getting up half an hour early and having a routine, having a, a structure, it will put you in the right frame of mind. Um, I believe getting early to bed, early to rise, gets me ready, alert, and energized. And I know that's just a little quote I keep telling myself, but um, I encourage you to, if you haven't already, uh, design your own morning routine. It is a game changer. It will provide you with more energy. It might be difficult at first uh, to get that discipline, but uh, you know, week after week, it's going to get easier. It's going to, you know, as I said, prime your money, your body, prime your mind for success, and that is how greatness happens. So that's it. Another episode in the bag. Thank you so much for joining me this week. If you enjoyed this episode, please share it with your friends, teammates, family, fellow coaches, anyone who might benefit from this message and who wants to create excellence in their lives. Also, get on over to iTunes, subscribe and leave a review. Thank you so much to those who have done that already. I appreciate it. Uh, I'm also on the YouTube channel of Champion Minded Podcast. And uh, if you want to connect on social media, I'm at Twitter at Alistair McCall. Uh, Instagram, Be Champion Minded, Facebook, McCall Method. And if you want to send me an email, suggestions, feedback, whatever's on your mind, you can do that at McCall Method at AOL.com. Also, a big thank you to all of you who uh, share the message on social media under the hashtag Champion Minded. I love seeing your photos, love seeing your quotes and your feedback. And uh, please, please, please share the message. Remember, you were meant for greatness, so go out and do the work. Until next time, stay champion-minded, my friends.